Oh folks, good evening. I know I shouldn't be doing this while I'm driving, but anyway, in any case, hope you guys have been having a great day so far. And yeah, we've enjoyed the warm weather over the past couple of days, so you know, I'm sure you did as well. Um, but some changes are on the way, I'll explain that in just a moment, but in the meantime, we have a severe weather threat um, to deal with um, uh, for tomorrow. Um, of course, um, and that's mainly for those who live in Central, Eastern, and Southeast Virginia, those areas like, like Richmond, and places like further east and southeast. Um, main threat looks to be damaging winds, maybe a few isolated tornadoes, but I don't think that is going to be a, a, bit, a huge deal. I really don't think this is going to be a huge deal um, in regards to that. I think the big threat will be damaging winds um, and associated with the squall line. So it will be a one and done event. Quick blow will be good after that. But we'll have to see. So we have to watch really closely see how much sun we get. Um, because the more sunlight, the more instability, and the more the atmosphere gets cooked. Kind of like a boiling pot. Boiling pot, you know, we get so much build up until it just overflows and, you know, boom, we get. That's uh, that line that really explodes. So we'll just have to see what happens. Um, but in any case, the threat for severe weather is there. Not going to be a huge deal, but um, it's, but so it's going to be a more of a marginal, isolated severe weather event. But um, if we do, don't be surprised to see damaging winds uh, of up to 60 miles per hour, maybe more than that. We'll see how strong they get. Um, it, it, that is a, is a little bit uncertain. So we'll see what happens. Um, after that, though, we'll cool down in time for the weekend, but we'll, we will stay dry um, Saturday, and then it'll just on to Sunday. Um, big changes are on the way, and um, as in terms of winter returning, yeah. Don't let this warm weather fool you. It's like, oh, spring's here. No way. The cold, deep cold air um, returns in time for um, in, in time for the start of next week. So as, as we go into Sunday and into Monday, um, a, a, an Arctic front we will move through. We'll see those temperatures, cold, cold weather return, and with maybe seeing highs in the 30s next week. Lows will be in the low teens. So I mean, we're going to be cold. We're going to be absolutely cold. So we'll have to see what happens as that high pressure that our friend the polar vortex will return, and that will plunge south and bring cold weather um, gripping. It, Cold weather will ensue over the um, eastern half of the nation, too. Uh, uh, eastern half of the nation. Uh, sorry. He listened to say something. Um, <laughs> um, so let's see what happens. And then we're, we're also watching a few chances of some snow, possibly, for next Tuesday and Wednesday. So, I mean, right now it doesn't look like, doesn't look like a big deal. Could see a few. Could, it might be a light to moderate snow event. We'll see what happens. Um, how much? I'm not going to throw out any amounts yet, um, uh, because it's still a little bit uncertainty in the computer guidance, you know, uh, in regards to the track as well. So and the storm's still there. So still, there's unless there's no more storm showing up, I'm not, you know, backing up on this. So we'll, we'll see what happens. It might probably won't be a big deal. Could always change, you know, as weather is ever so changing. So we'll see what happens. And then we're watching another event potentially for the following weekend. After that, so um, it, it but so it looks the weather looks does look to get very active. We look to be getting into a very active pattern right in time at, uh, for the, as right as that cold air really plunges southward. So going to be really interesting to see if we can get anything good out of that, um, which is possible. So we we'll have to keep an eye on it. Well, folks, enjoy the rest of your day, and um, and I'll see you guys. Uh, well, I'll see you guys around.